Today I'm going to walk you through some tips and tricks for Libby, Basic, and Advanced. The first one I'm going to show you is how to use collections in Libby. You might already know about clicking on what's new and what's available, but if you want to read something specific, like books about home design or books by LGBTQ plus authors, we have collections for those too. On the main library page on Libby, you'll click on Explore and scroll down to click on Spotlights which is curated by HCPL librarians. I'll scroll down and I'm going to click on career opportunities to give you an example. You can see here that we've got books and audiobooks about business, careers, self-improvement, and even economics. The next one is a way to organize your shelf in Libby through using their tagging system. When you're scrolling through the catalog in Libby, you see free options next to every item. Borrow, read sample, or tag. Tapping on tag lets you categorize that item as one of three options, a books emoji, a thumbs up emoji, and a thumbs down emoji. You can assign your own meanings to these tags, but I'm using books to track what I want to read, thumbs up for what I read and liked, and thumbs down for what I read and didn't like. That way, I don't check out something I've already read, so I can make more room for checkouts. After you tag something, go back to your shelf and click on tags, and click on one of your emojis. You can see that I read Becoming by Michelle Obama and liked it. For this one, I'm going to open the book I currently have checked out and show you how to get to your reading settings. You're going to tap on the three horizontal bars in the top right corner, and then on reading settings. This lets you change how your ebook looks while you're reading. I can make the text bigger or smaller. Change the background colors, bright, sepia, or dark and change the font. All of this is super customizable, and once you're happy with the way that it looks, you can tap Done and start reading with your new settings. And the last tip I have for you is a fun one. If you finish reading or listening to something before it's due, you can return it early. Just go to the item on your shelf and tap on Manage Loan. Then tap on return early and hit return. After you tap on return, the item disappears and some flowers appear in its place. Watch what happens when I click on the flowers. Thanks for watching my Libby tips and tricks. If this video was helpful or you'd like to see another video about Libby or one of our other resources, leave a comment below and have a great day.